what's up fresh squad back again with another video we are talking about the most popular men's fragrances here in 2024 we've already seen some videos before maybe you haven't this is the first time you're seeing this but i have done some videos about this before so go check those out and basically what i talk about is fragrances that you are most likely going to smell out in regular day-to-day -day life the bank grocery store maybe you go into the beach restaurant you are probably going to smell one of these fragrances i've talked about quite a few before thought i'd do it one more time because i saw that you guys kind of like this video idea so i got some more i'm talking about today so before I get into that, you already know what you got to do. You got to like the video. You got to subscribe to me. You got to comment, tell me if you have any of these fragrances and if they are on your list to get as well. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead, like, subscribe. All right. <laughs> All right. So first fragrance on the list today, this is going to be Valentino Womo. Born in Roma for the toilet. You saw me do that fail just now. I tried to put the cap on, but it was upside down. Anyways, this is a fantastic men's fragrance. It has a similar vibe to it as Invictus Aqua. If you're not familiar with that fragrance, basically it has some aquatic salty notes in there, has some citrus in there. And what sets this apart, it has some herbal notes in there. So it has a little bit of tea flavor going for it but it's blended together perfectly and it smells fantastic. Now, the reason why I got this is because even though it is kind of popular, it is not as popular. So it's popular enough for you to probably smell this here or there, but it's still kind of unique where you may not smell it on someone, the exact fragrance, but you'll smell the DNA because Invictus Aqua is also popular People will smell this and think they're smelling Victus Aqua, but they're actually smelling this. So yeah, they're kind of that close. But yeah, Valentino Womo EDT goes for a hundred and something dollars retail. You can get it online for seventy to eighty dollars. Great fragrance, but it is kind of popular, so you may smell someone who smells like you. Following fragrance is gonna be Armoff's Club de Nuit Intense Man. This is a copy clone dupe whatever you want to call it, fragrance of the more popular Creed's Aventus. I actually spoke about that in my first video. And this fragrance, because it's so cheap, you can get it for around $30 to $40. And you get that expensive scent profile. A lot of people have this fragrance. I actually knew about this fragrance before I knew about Creed. This fragrance has been out for a while. And there are various um, different flankers of it, but one that I'm talking about is the Eau de Toilette. Very popular. You're going to get that pineapple citrus smoky vibe going for it um, with some woody tones. And it's very mass appealing scent, but you're more likely to smell someone who smells like this because it smells so good or so cheap. And who doesn't want to smell like a $400 fragrance for $30? So if you already have that one, if you don't have it and you're thinking of getting it, just know you're probably going to smell someone that wears this. But luckily enough, people usually like wear this for like office type jobs or if they're actually going out, date nights, clubs. That's the time that that's the time that people actually wear this fragrance. So not to worry, you won't really smell it as much places. But if you're a party goer, if you're gonna be walking into any offices or any cool spaces, you're probably gonna smell this fragrance. And lastly, on the list, you guys probably know this one as well. It's Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense. I do not own this fragrance because it doesn't really impress me. It's a pretty basic smelling fragrance. It's very safe, very mass appealing. It's a citrus and fresh fragrance. Um, has a little salty touch to it as well. Um, it's great. You can't lose with this fragrance. It's something that I would, if I got it, I would wear for the gym, casual, everyday, dumb reach type of fragrance. As I said, you can't go wrong. It's very mass appealing. It's very cheap these days. It's been around for a while, but it got blown up on TikTok. It got blown up on social media overall. And most people have this fragrance, but it's a lucky thing. The performance on it is not that great. So unless someone like just sprayed it on and stepped out and you encounter them, 
it's going to be hard for you to kind of smell it on them but most people wear it most guys wear it and if someone smells this on you you are actually going to smell like someone that they already know so take with that what you may but that is a very popular fragrance as well okay so those are actually all my three fragrances today that i think and i know actually <laughs> is very popular in 2024 as a men's fragrance I just do these videos so that you guys can decide if these are fragrances you want to get. If you already have it, obviously it's too late to consider that, but just don't be surprised if you smell someone wearing these when you're out. And they're pretty good fragrances. I'm not hating on them. I'm just letting you know that they are very popular. So if you're someone who wants to smell unique, these aren't going to be fragrances that um, if you don't already have, I would say to get. Now. Let me know what fragrances you guys have in your collection that you think are very popular or maybe not so popular or maybe you have it on the list of fragrances to get. Let me know your thoughts. What are your ideas? What do you agree with and what you don't agree with in this video? If you did forget, remember to like this video. You got to subscribe. You got to comment. You got to share it. I already know who that helps helps you in the long run right so until next time all i gotta say is big up